Hello community, here we are again with SBART. SBART 123 is a very, very easy video because I just show you that my next three videos will be how to code SBART in a fast, efficient, minimalistic and powerful but targeted way. So let's have a look what it will be. You know, that SBIRT to fine tune it, we have three steps. At first, we have a, tr a domain knowledge, a training data set on our specific domain knowledge. Let's say it's the news, the US news or political news, or you have some domain knowledge in medicine or domain knowledge in law. And then you have your SBIRT model and you train your SBIRT model with a specific loss function. So these three elements are with every standard SBIRT model. But since you know me that we are going to do something special for you, because you need a competitive advantage in your learning. So let's look at the domain. Now, to be specific, we're here in the supervised learning area. We are not in the unsupervised learning. Now we have a domain. We have domain specific knowledge. We have a training data set, particularly targeted and designed for our SBIRT model. And I can train my SBIRT model with this particular domain specific training data set. This is the first step. And if you are interested what my domain knowledge is, I took 100,000 sentence pairs. Remember, we want to get an embedding from European Union Frontier Research R&D projects that will end in 2022 or 2023. So what are the EU projects, the research projects, what technology projects will end in the coming years, in the coming two years? What results in new technology we can expect? This is my domain knowledge that I have, and I prepared it in a form that it will train my SBIRT model. Now, if you are unfamiliar with this, I already have published two videos on exactly how to create my data set. And it is ex explicitly this data set I show you here. And then how you can fine tune it on different levels. But we will focus here, of course, on my domain specific knowledge on my training data set in supervised learning. Now, the next step is, of course, the SBIRT model. And if you have seen my model or my video <laughs> that SBIRT is not sentence SBIRT, you know that I'm going to build my SBIRT model from scratch. And you might ask why? There are so many beautiful SBIRT models already available on Hugging Face to download. Well, I want to show you something. I want to have a small model, but I want to have laser focused. What does it mean? I just train this model on my domain specific data. You know, I don't want to have trained on all articles in Wikipedia. I don't want that this uh, SBIRT model has some information about political news in, I don't know, Russia or in China or USA. No, I have a small expert model laser focused on my domain specific knowledge, full stop. And this is why I build it from scratch. I want to have it as small as possible, as efficient as possible and laser focused. So. Oh yeah, here's my insert. I show you the Hugging Fist Esport models fine-tuned already, ready for you. We'll start in a second. And now for the interrupt. Here we go. We are in Hugging Face and we are in the models section. And as you can see, we have 70,583 models available for you. And what we are interested in, we are interested in sentences. And here we are, sentence transformer. So whenever you see on Hugging Face something starting with sentence transformer, you know this is SBIRT. And as you can see, updated July, July, June, July, March, most downloads. Yeah, but have a look, recently updated, most downloads. Yeah. We go with this model, beautiful. We have all close to 4 million downloads. And if you jump into this model, you can see here, this is what it is used for. And the training data set and with the within the model card, you can see it's a sentence transformer models. It maps sentences and paragraphs to a 384 dimensional dense vector space, and it can be used for tasks like clustering or semantic search. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
What else does it tell us? The background tells us it has been trained on one billion sentence pairs. And now you see why I have my small and laser focused model. I don't need one billion sentence pairs from wherever the sentences are coming from. I just need it for a very specific science specific task. One billion sentences is great to learn for a chatbot or for some general language application, but I have a laser focused task. So this is the model. Yes, the, the pre-training procedure. Now, this is not a model that we use, but if you're interested, you have the fine tuning, you have the hyperparameter and you have the training data. And here you have now the training data. If you use, for example, this S bird model. This is now the data set and it's so transparent. This is so great on Hugging Face. You can see immediately the data sets that the model has been trained on. So you see the number of training tuples, 726 million uh, training tuples come from Reddit comments from 2015 to 2018. So therefore you are minimum five years back in the past. So. But it is just to understand the general semantic of a language. But I don't need this. You see, my application is pure science, scientific terms. So I don't need the general blah, 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 but I need laser focused on scientific terms. And then you have 116 million training tuples on citation pairs and wiki answers and whatsoever. And you see here all listed here, all the different training sets that this model has been trained on. And it has been trained, of course, on a TPU, and JAX, I suppose, uh, sequence 128 token, typical atom optimizer, the learning rate, even they tell you what's the learning rate. And I suppose this trains some days or maybe some weeks if you have a billion data set model, but I don't need this. So therefore this, if you need an already completely ready sentence transformer model, they are beautiful general models available like this one an all mini LM. You can download it, you can use it. You see here, they have a hosted inference API. You have a source sentence and you can compare those sentences, those three sentences to this. You can compute it here. You can insert your sentence, whatever you like, and you can have an online demonstration. But this model is much too powerful, trained on 1 billion sentences. So back to our small but laser focused model. And we are now have done two building blocks of fine tuning expert. I'm going to show you. This is the first video. I have now my domain knowledge. I have my specific small but laser focused expert model for my specific task. And you now you know, you know what's going to come now if I tell you about the last function, yeah? It's going to be a specific last function that will increase your performance. So this is what you can expect from the first video. Let's sum it up. We tune an expert model that I create from scratch to show you the code, each line of code. You can follow me from scratch. I have my own training data set. So we are in supervised learning domain for specific domain knowledge. It's science here, 100,000 sentence pairs with labeled data. And you are familiar with this. You have entailment, neutral and contradiction. And my own data set is structurally identical to SNLI, the famous data set, but strictly focuses on the best evaluated R&D project in Europe ending in 2022, 2023. And I show you in code that I have an evaluator data set, SDSB, during the training for the performance tracking of my expert. Of course, here, as I showed you, I will have an improved loss function. It will also improve your models. And the result is easy. I have a small but fine-tuned laser-targeted expert model on my domain knowledge, and this is science. And now I'm ready for the downstream task. Now I can feed in some new text or some new project description. I can see the clustering. Where is this new data clustered? Or I can perform some semantic search on this new query data. So if I have a full expert model, the possibility is almost endless. And you might ask, okay, if this is the first video, what about the other two videos, if there are three videos? Well, here you see it on the left side, I just showed you video one. 
video two and video three here on the right hand side is about domain training. Now, what about you have domain knowledge one and you have domain knowledge two? Let's say domain knowledge one is all the science projects in Europe, the sentences from the science projects in Europe. And domain two is you want to focus on medicine, heavily focus on medicine, but you need some reference in your system to, I don't know, physics, mathematics, chemistry, biology, whatever. So you see, you have the surrounding data sphere around your pure medicine domain. So they are have domain one and domain two training. We do it iteratively one step after the other. And video three, if you have already all the knowledge of domain one and all the knowledge of domain two, and you can create a common data set, you can fine tune your expert model together. You, you can put the information together and you can do it in one step. And video three will be, if you have already available, domain one knowledge and domain two knowledge in a data format that the training data set is or can act as an input to your expert model. This will be the content of video three. And we will have look which of the two models has a better performance. This is it. This is just a preview model of what's going to come in the next two days. Those four videos will cover, I don't know, will be published in about um, a time duration of one week. And if you look at those videos, wait, wait, wait. I hope that the next three code, it's Python, of course, videos will provide valuable insights for your professional career. I say thank you and I see you in the next video.